Hi guys, it's Brittany with It's All About Jesus. I haven't been on here for such a while, a while, while. Anyways, I am outside right now with my handsome son. Say hi, Bubby. Say hi. Yeah. Hi. Say Abba up. Abba up. <laughs> I'm trying to teach him Abba up. Um, I don't know if any of you guys watch. I watch Barry Scarborough. He's a really good person. Me and my dad really enjoy watching his channel. I watch um, Watchmen on the Wall 88. Um, Chelsea Bedell. I'm going to tell you say her name. Um, Lisa Boyce. There's just a lot of people that I, I really like to watch. Um, anyways, if you guys watch Barry Scarborough's channel at all... Um, he has where that two-year-old baby she's just a little baby she wakes up her mom at like two in the morning and it says Abba up mama Jesus is coming the king is coming and it is just wow so I'm trying to teach my almost two-year-old little boy Abba up <laughs> oh I can't wait for him to say that it's gonna be amazing um so because he is coming soon guys I know he is Oh my gosh, I have been just soaking with the Lord lately. Oh my, it's been absolutely amazing. The things that God has been showing me lately is incredible. We really serve an awesome, awesome God. He is just unbelievably amazing, guys. Um, there's been things in my personal life that I've been dealing with and, and I just praying, God, when am I ever going to get through this? And let me tell you guys something. The Lord has brought me through something that I was struggling with so bad for so long. He finally brought me through it. And let me tell you, don't ever give up. He keeps his word. He is amazing. One of these days when I'm more comfortable to talk about it, I will share it because I know it's going to help a lot of people. But if you're, anybody's struggling with anything, any kind of sin or or anything like that, um, don't ever give up. You know what I mean? Don't ever give up. I finally let this one sin go that I've been holding on for a very long time. And I've been saved since 2012. And, and I've been going around the same dang mountain for 10 years because I wouldn't let this one thing go. Now, we are saved by grace through faith, but there's consequences when you choose to let a certain sin and dwell in your life. And um, I'm going to share something briefly. I know I was having tons of nightmares because I was letting this sin stay in my life and let me tell you guys the nightmares are gone when you are obedient to the Lord wow like I'm not saying that because of the sin that I was doing it was causing all these nightmares I don't know but I know that I was letting a door open because that's why the Lord wants us to get rid of these little things that we hold on to that he just wants us to really ch choose to follow him wholly you know and it's impossible for us to do we can't do everything right we're going to sin i'm just saying like he wants us to be obedient because not to be saved he saves us because we believe and you know we asked him for forgiveness and and he comes in, he seals us till that day of redemption. He seals us. Guaranteed. Isn't that amazing? But I'm talking about when you give up something maybe you've been struggling with for so long. And you say, Lord, how come? All I, all I said, kept saying was, how come I, I won't let this go? Why won't I choose you over this? Why, God? Why do I struggle with this? Why can't I let it go? And I just finally let it go and let me tell you guys something I was so scared it was fear that held me back and it's personal stuff 
I'll get into that one day, but don't let fear hold you back. Just, um, people, you know, um, please, Lord, Holy Spirit, help me to deliver this right. I feel the enemy kind of coming at me with this, trying to, like, block my mind or something. He's angry because he's, he's kept me in this in for a long time, and I finally broke free from it. Um, and I've been safe for 12 years, guys, and God's been telling me for 12 years, 12 years that I was going on the wrong path with something personal in my life. <sighs> and it, I just finally feel free from it. And it's amazing. And that's why, um, like my channel, when I started it, I was still going through that. So I was kind of off and on. Anyways, so... Just to let you know, don't ever give up. And the funny thing is, is that God had me go through all these things and I couldn't understand why I was going through these crazy, horrible things. And oh my goodness, it hit me. He made me stronger through these things. I am so, oh, you guys, I wish I can tell you how blessed I feel and you know I was thinking too like us us believers and stuff like we're chosen the Lord chose us isn't that amazing like we know things I know I'm supposed to be on here talking and sharing my stories because we know things that normal people on their daily basis that don't have Jesus they don't know these things and God gives us all these things um for a reason for us to help each other and so basically I just wanted to come on here and say I'm back and I feel a lot better and um, the world is literally it's going off guys like we're getting so close to the end of everything and it's amazing and God will take the fear from you don't be in any fear at all it doesn't matter if a bomb came right now and struck me. Where would I be? In heaven with Jesus. So would my my baby and my my family. And to somebody else, that is, sounds like the scariest thing in the whole world, right? So even the worst thing, I'm not saying that's going to happen to me. But if it ever did, or any of us, you can get to the point in your life where you are so soaked in God that it just bring it on <laughs> like nothing can can make you scared I'm, I don't know it's, it's hard to because I've been in fear a lot over a lot of things but the Lord is really I'm not saying that I'm never scared of anything you know I'm scared of things but <laughs> anyways he's just really brought me a long way guys I I don't know how to explain it. I'm just, I'm not scared of death. <sighs> He's so good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to come on here too and pray for the, the Ukrainian people. You know, God showed me two dreams. I've never had dreams about Russia yet. But I had two dreams about China invading the U.S. And I don't mean to put fear in people. I don't know if that's going to happen before we get raptured out of here or before I, I don't know he's never showed me that all I know is he showed me things that are gonna happen and uh, tsunamis and stuff and how like bombs caused it so that's why just stay close to God you have to know God in these days or I mean I would die of fear <laughs> I would literally knowing that we could be invaded do you know what I mean would I would die in fear knowing that if I didn't know Jesus. You know, that would like, crazy. But anyways, I wanted to say, pray for the Ukrainian people right now. This is insane what's going on, but we all knew this kind of stuff is gonna happen. And it's supposed to happen, read the Bible. We, he says to look up, our redemption draws nigh, guys. We are one step closer every day to meeting. Jesus face to face that is incredible and my children are both saved even my little he doesn't you know he's only one and something but 
I all I do is read the Bible to him all the time. So when he's old enough to know, I, I just know in my heart my little guy's gonna be saved. Um if we're here that long. And then my daughter who is seven years old accepted Jesus Christ in the back seat of my car and five years old. Five years old. She accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. One morning driving and I told her this is what you do Ariel and she asked the Lord for forgiveness and from there on forth this little girl has had prophetic dreams um, from God he sent her dreams to cheer me up in times it's amazing um, but you know all those people that they don't understand like we do it's so hard to tell somebody that doesn't believe anything because it's like they just they don't have the Holy Spirit guys so um one second I gotta get some water yeah so the Lord's having me come back now and I'm a lot better I'm ready to go I'm ready to to do whatever he wants me to do on this channel if it's to get people saved, it's to get people saved. Because I'm telling you guys, right now is the time to tell everybody you can about the Lord. And it's another thing that I'm not that scared anymore of, like, on my daily life out and about. I was kind of scared of man a little bit to uh, share about Jesus. You know, I do it on the internet, but, but man, I'm becoming a lot more bolder. And, uh... Praise the Lord. So, yeah. I'm just coming on here just because I'm excited that the Lord brought me through. And I just want to give encouragement and say don't ever give up. If you, whatever you're going through, he, he promised he will get you through it eventually. You will. He will. If you are saved, if you have believed, if you have asked for forgiveness in your heart and you accepted that Jesus Christ died for you on that cross, He will come through for you. Alright guys, I just wanted to come on and say pray for the Ukrainian people. I'm praying for protection. You know, for angels. God can send angels for protection. Just imagine the woman who, who's, who's walking or who's there right now with her child that is my son's age sitting there going I could die at any moment and not knowing the Lord that would be terrifying but if that person knows the Lord then it's what else can you say just I I don't know what that feels like because I am in America but let me tell you something America ain't looking too hot guys and we could be sitting in that situation at any time, any moment. I don't know if we're, you know, the rapture will happen. I'm believing Jesus is coming soon. But um, I'm not out of the water of something happening. Do you know what I mean? So right now, all I want to do is pray for people. Tell them to get saved now. Because if you don't see there's something going on with all these wars and stuff... And that, you know, America ain't what it used to be. Like, we, guys, I don't know. I was just looking up stuff, like how big Russia is and then China. Like, if they got together, man, I mean, people just don't, they're just in their own little world in America. Like, nothing will ever happen to us, you know? It's crazy. I, I, anyways, um, one second, guys. If you are not saved and you see this right now, I'm telling you that Jesus Christ is real. God is real. Um, here's my, I got my little hat on that has Israel in the United States. Because eventually, all everybody's going to be against Israel. You know, eventually, all in the Bible, it talks about, I got to look up scripture and get better with scripture so I can tell you guys. But um, it talks about every single nation will be hated for Jesus and they'll kill him 
you'll be killed. So right now, I can go out and tell somebody about Jesus and then I'm not going to get killed. Some countries, you can't. So you better be thanking God, praising God that you're still here able to talk about the Lord. Because one day, you're not. You won't. I, I guarantee you one day you'll be arrested if you have a Bible. That's what the tribulation's going to be like, y'all. And I can see it coming. Persecution is coming. So, be bold. And if you haven't believed, like I said, you need to get saved. There's no other way. You won't get out of this. You won't. You, you don't want to go to hell. Hell is the worst place in the whole world. You want to end up. You don't want to go there. So, please read your Bible. Pick up a Bible. Get a Bible. And believe what the Lord said. He is the truth and he is the only way. There ain't no other way. There's no Muslims. You can't get through that way. Buddhas, you can't get through that way. Jesus is the only way. He is the only way. And I promise you that I've tried everything else. No, not everything. Thank God I didn't have to try everything. But I've... This is the only thing that's ever set me free. And that gave me a knowing in my heart that is the truth. He is the truth. He is so real. Please get saved. Please come to know the Lord Jesus Christ because this world isn't going to be here much longer. I love you guys and um, I'm excited to be back and I can't wait to share what the Lord has been showing me. He's been showing me so many things. But right now, I'm telling you, things are going to start getting heated up. So pray for everybody. I love you. Bye.